Hi, I'm Rich Brown, Senior Editor for CNET.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Falcon Northwest Mach 5. This is a super, super high-end gaming system. It costs about eight grand, so really we're looking at a used car here, more or less. This system is an editor's choice winner, mostly because it broke every performance benchmark record that we have. Now the reason is because the system has the fastest CPU on the market right now. It uh, comes with Intel's Core i7-965 Extreme Edition. Falcon Northwest being uh, who it is, of course they've overclocked it. But in general, the system has some of the best parts around. Behind the front door here, we have two optical drives, one of which is a Blu-ray burner. Obviously that's great. You probably wouldn't want to bring this into your living room, but if you want to watch Blu-ray movies on your desk, you can absolutely do it with this PC. Down here, you've got a set of USB ports, as well as a couple audio jacks and a FireWire port. Now on the back side, you can see uh, the full array of ports and inputs. There are two graphics cards down here, neither of which has an HDMI output built in, but Falcon Northwest did include a DVI to HDMI adapter, so if you want to go out to uh, HDMI, you certainly can. Up here, you can see all the other ports. You've got uh, six USB ports, FireWire input, uh, digital audio and analog audio, as well as one eSATA drive connector. One thing we like in particular is you can see on the side panel, the bottom of the case, and here on the back, there's sound dampening foam. That makes the system nice and quiet. So despite all this power, it's not like you have a jet engine in your office. Now the graphics cards in the system are a pair of ATI Radeon HD 4870X2 cards. Between the fast CPU and the four 3D chips, you can play pretty much any game you want in the system at the highest detail settings. So if you have a 30 inch LCD, Plug it in, jack up all the settings, and you'll be good to go. Now to achieve the overclocked CPU, Falcon had to go with a liquid cooling system, and you can see that connected to the CPU here, and it winds kind of up here behind the system fan. It keeps it nice and cool and also relatively quiet because that means it's one less fan spinning inside the case. Here you can see six memory slots. That's going to become more and more common with Core i7, especially on high-end motherboards. Uh, there's 12 gigs of RAM inside this PC. That's probably the upper limit of what we're going to see for at least a little while. You know, we never say never, of course. Digital media editors, anyone who needs to move large chunks of data at a time very quickly will be very happy with the hardware inside this case. Finally, over here, you can see the drive bay. We wish it faced out, but what can you do? There's a standard one terabyte hard drive here, and tucked back here is an Intel solid state hard drive. Now we've tested the Intel drive by itself, it is super fast, so launching applications, hopefully loading levels and games, really you'll see a difference between this system with a solid state and another system that has the same hardware but only traditional hard drives. Now we should also point out that you do get a little bit of expandability here, there's room for a couple more hard drives, there's one, one X PCI Express slot and one standard PCI slot buried down in here. So overall the system really delivers on the promise of being one of the fastest desktops around. So I'm Rich Brown, and this is the Falcon Northwest Mach 5.